all praise. Honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shallow womp to you, brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, man. It's real early. <clears throat> Please excuse my voice, just woke up. But anyway, it's a real early lesson yet again. And what you just witnessed was uh, something in Arlington. Um, I was getting ready to say Arlington, Texas, <laughs> but no, that's off. Uh, somewhere up north is in Arlington, right? That that cemetery, but it was called the Changing of the Guard, and I don't know. It just popped up in my feed, and I said, you know what? That's spiritual right there. You had Jake snatch that gun out of Esau's hand. The Changing of the Guard is coming. There's a there's a recompense for everything that uh, that all these damn devils have done upon the earth. OK, there's a recompense for that. So, again, what you just saw was a changing of the guard and the Bible goes into it and speaks about it. Yahweh Shai is going to show up and he's going to show out. And hopefully soon come. So rock eight. 10 and verse 8 because of unrighteous dealings and injuries and riches gotten by deceit the kingdom is translated from one people to another what did that say because of all the wicked uh left-handed you know and unruly deeds that you have done upon this earth esau edom and all the rest of you nations the kingdom shall be what translated from one people to another and those and those people that it's going to be translated to are the israelites Starting off with the 144,000, the house of Dawada, the house of David, is going to be built and is going to rule forever and ever. The saints of the Most High shall what? They shall take the kingdom. And there's nowhere to hide, there's nowhere to run. And there's nothing you can do about it. Let's, 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 let's do this. There was a photo. Ooh, that's a good one right there. Let's, you see this right here? All right. I had I, I had to share this. I had to re, I had to reshare this. Elder Hawaii did a whole lesson with this photo right here. What did it say right here? And what what is the end of the world? Who's sad? Who's sad about it? You got Esau Edom. It's a changing of the guard, except for no, no, no. Bishop Nate, whatever he calls himself. No, no, no. Esau's not going to rise up and build his ass an army in the kingdom. Hell no. He's going he's gonna to be a slave uh, in slavery a thousand long, hard, arduous years. A thousand of years. And then he's going to pass away like his own dung. He's going to fly away like a dream. So no, Nate, he ain't going to build. He ain't going to build nothing back up. He's going to be under subjection. Heavy. Uh oh. But what do you have over here? What does that say? It's the end of the world. It's uh, it, both of them said it's the end of the world, right? But see, Jake is happy. He looking over at the sunset at the rolling hills because everything is beautiful. The trees are gonna be singing, right? But it's gonna be translated. Oh yeah, it's gonna be translated. I don't know how long this lesson's gonna be. But it's gonna be as long as you. How about Shimyal Shai wants it to be? I'm very excited. I'm very, very, super excited. Now I just watched another video from the brother Arya. A beloved brother, go to his page, be edified. He does great lessons and stays occupied in prophecies as all of us are supposed to be doing. Watchmen, right? That that, uh, that, uh, that should never be ashamed. Uh, Joel uh, 2 and verse 27. My people should never be ashamed. Okay? And he put up a lesson. Woo! -woo. One, of my, one of my favorite things to go into uh, 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 the chariots. And that's and hey, that's how Yahweh that's how Yahweh Shah's coming back. Revelation 1 of verse 7. You know, he got translated. He coming back, but he's not going to meet thee as a man this time. Shouting with a loud voice, saying, come up hither and hide yourselves while the indignation pass. Do you see? While the indignation pass, while the kingdom gets translated from one people to another, the saints and the most, they're going to take it. There ain't nowhere to hide. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's got me very excited. I'm trying not to be too loud. <laughs> Call hello, Yahweh Shimmy Habasha. Hey, brothers, we almost up out of here, man. Hey, continue, continue on. Let's read this. Daniel seven and verse eighteen. But the saints of the Most High shall what shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even ever, forever and ever. 
that's a that's a that's forever. That's that's not just a period of time because the scripture goes into it and it says that uh, you, you shall only be oppressed and spoiled forevermore. But that's just a period of time. See, this Bible is a, a, a written in parables, and it's only for who the uh, the awoken ones. The uh, I'm not gonna use that word woke. I'm not gonna use that. All right, it's for the elect. That's what's up. I'll use that for that for the one third for the elect. That's that's who the word is for the the people who he has, has woken up. And when I say he, I'm talking about Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, not no uh, uh, not no goddamn Jesus, you know. <laughs> Apostle Tahar and Apostle Gabar, you know, went into that earlier today. You know, you know, uh, you know. I, I, I I'll leave it. Screw that. Hey, fuck Jesus Christ. You better you you know what you Israelites are gonna have to start putting some respect on the true names of your of the power of Israel, the power of the whole entire universe. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. You know, and I say that with the utmost uh 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 whatever the hell you call it. All right. His name is uh, the father's name is Yahweh, and the son's name is Yahweh Shai, and that's it. All right. Don't come on my channel with no JC, a Christ, a, a Israel blessed. No, hell no. Fuck all that. Salaki for the language. Okay. Matter of fact, let's go back. Daniel 7 and verse 17. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Done with that. You come, to, you come around me with that JC and all that. I'm not. I, you can just kick rocks. Okay. Daniel uh, 7 and verse 17. These great beasts. Which are four are four kings which shall arise out of the earth. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. It's going to be a changing of the guard. Because Esau Edom is not fit to rule. What he, Job. What did he, what he say in Job? What did, what did the scripture say in Job 30? That the base he set up over the uh, uh, men, the bases of men. He set it up over his children. Even the elect. We've been chastised. He chastised the ones he loves. But, but, but you know what? He said, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom mm -hmm. and possess the kingdom forever, even ever and ever. Okay? So that's that. Let's keep going. All right? Second Ezra 6. Screw it. Let's start at 1. And he said unto me, in the beginning, when the earth was made before the borders of the world stood, or even the winds blew. Verse two: Before it thundered and lightened, 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 Slakia, or ever the foundations of paradise were laid. Verse three: Before the fair flowers were seen, or ever the immovable powers were established. What did that say? The movable powers were established. Before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together and them angels, man, them chariots, them, those are our brothers. Those are our brothers. And they and they sit and they watch and they encamp round about us and they let us know that they're there. This place is getting ready to get burned up. It's through. It's finished. But the saints of the most house shall what shall take the kingdom forever. See, all right, let's read it again. Before the innumerable uh, multitude of angels were gathered together or ever the heights of the air were lifted up before the measure of the um, <clears throat> Salaki, of, of the firmament were named or ever the chimneys in Zion were height. Verse five and air the, uh, the, pre, uh, the present years. And Ur, Salakia, the present years were sought out and or even the inventions of them that now sin were turned before. They were sealed that have gathered faith for a treasure. Did you hear that scripture right there? Even before them that were sealed. And we feel hey, the elect might, might be sealed now. Okay. It's very possible that the elect might be sealed now. This is the final hour. The, the final hour. 
Okay, that this is uh, what did that? Oh my goodness, Salaki! I'm really, really, really excited. I'm really excited. All right, we got things to look forward to, and we also have things to not look forward to, like Jacob's trouble. But all these things must come. Let's read that again. Wow. In Ur, the present years were sought out. And or even the inventions of them that now sinned were turned before they were sealed that have gathered faith for a treasure. See that did the scripture not say the just shall live by faith? The just shall live by faith. We faithfully know and understand and have give, been given to understand in the eye cell that, that Yahweh Shah is coming back on a big, big, big chariot. And he's going to yell out with a loud voice saying, come up here and hide yourselves for a little while while the indignation pass. And then putting crowns. <sighs> it's heavy, man. All right. That's heavy. Stay with me. Stick with me now. Then did I consider these things and they were made. They were made through me alone and through none other. By me also, they shall be ended. And, and, uh, and by none. Other, you see that? You hear what the scripture said? Okay. And he, Salakia, and he said unto me, Father Abraham, unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born, of him Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. The changing of the guard was already in play back in Genesis. It was already written. There was, there was, there was a book of life already written. According to their works, according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, it was already written. It was already there. Okay? This is his movie. We can't forget about that. No free will, baby. Did his hand not betwixt the hill of that red devil? Were they not fighting in the womb? Were they not two different nations? It's a changing of the guard coming. It's so, so when I saw that, I said, man, I gotta, I, you know, I'm going I'm to put that in the video. Maybe it'll catch somebody's eye. You know what it is. Okay? Let's read it again. And he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac and when Jacob and Esau were born, so-called uh, 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 blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, uh, the, the Israelites, 12 tribes of Israel. Right. And Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, uh huh, were born of him. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. Verse nine. What does this say right here? What does this say right here? Mm hmm. Let's 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 go. When we read that, let's let's look at this. For Esau is the end of the world. See that? For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Look at the smile and look at the frown. See? What is that saying? Turn that frown upside down. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get it. Yeah, how about him, y'all shy? Getting ready to show up and show out. These chariots, they all over the place. It's a beautiful thing. Call hello, yeah, how about him, y'all shy? Let's go. Ha. <laughs> Read it again. For, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Verse 10. The hand of man is betwixt the hill and the hand. Uh, and the hand. Other, uh, other questions Esther's asked thou not. It's betwixt, man. So he, that little brown hand popped up and said, where you going? He said, he said, he said, he said where you going, Esau, Edom? We was already struggling together. It was already written, baby. Uh-huh. Stay tuned. I want to make sure it's still recording. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited. of thy times. Hey, hey, we because we, hey, we got the answers. See, it's the end. It's the end of the world it, uh, uh, for, for Esau, Edom. It's the end for him. You know, he lived deliciously and glorious. He had more than heart could wish. All that It's coming to an end, baby. It's coming to an end. And you two thirds Israelites that uh th that continue to want to try to save the damn devil while he spits in your face and has his foot on your freaking neck. Screw you, too, because judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh, at the house of the Israelites. Hmm? Yasharala, Salakia. Mm, you know, I said Yahweh. I mean, that's Judah. You know, ain't no J's. Anyway, Revelation 7, verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. See that? Nor on any tree. And there's several scriptures that go into it and talk uh, and speak. Speaking of the Israelites, it's trees. You, you, you understand? 
Okay, verse two. And I saw another angel ascending from what? From the east. Who? That's our, that's our brothers having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, hurt not. What? Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power, Yahweh, in their foreheads. Ooh, what? Sealed the servants in their foreheads. And, you know, didn't it say, set a mark upon them to sigh and cry? No, it ain't, it ain't that same mark that Aaron Russo was talking about with Nick Rockefeller, neither. That's a whole nother lesson. Matter of fact, I got that on deck. Lord willing, I'll, I'll bring that out today. You know, hey, like brother said, Lord's will, right? Uh-huh. Until the what? The servants were sealed in their foreheads, man. That's that new Jerusalem coming down. Okay. You know, also, uh, he, uh, he said, he's going to tell the reapers, which are the angels, our brothers, come not near them to have the mark. You see, it's two different marks. If you don't understand the Bible, it, it will behoove you just to listen to the prophets, man. Okay. Starting with uh, with the apostles and the elders and, and the bishops and the brethren all the way on down. OK, verse four. And I heard the number of them which were what the what? And I heard the number of them which were sealed. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followed with. Uh huh. Then what was that number? And there were sealed a hundred and forty four and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. OK. No, no, you wicked ass pastors. No, no, uh, uh, your Creflo daughters. Uh, 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 I said daughters, dollars. Your damn uh, uh, fruity. You, uh, they are fruity anyway. Light in the loafers, if you will. You already know what it is. You ever been swallowed? You know what it is. You understand? Okay. Nah, nah. He said to his servants, the ones who serve him in truth and sincerity, the hundred and forty-four thousand are the children of Israel. Not everybody. Of of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben, 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad, 12,000 were sealed. Were sealed 12,000. Salakia. You know, on down the line. I, you know, I'm not going to be lazy. I'll read it. All right. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Nephilim were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of uh, Levi were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Ishakar were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. And of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. Let's read this. And after this, behold, in lo, a great multitude, what is sand of the sea? It, it, they, these are all Israelites right here. You know, and, and these people, well, who are these people that see the sand of the sea? It said there's a great multitude. That means every other nation. Hell no. Where, where the Yahweh Shem Yahushua has scattered his people. Everybody else is going into freaking slavery. That's very exciting and comforting to me. I don't know about you, but that should be very comforting. The scripture says, therefore, comfort each other with these words daily, baby. You see? <laughs> Let's go. Call hello, Yahweh Shem Yahushua. Hey, we almost up out of this, biatch. Mm -hmm. After this, I behold and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before. And what is our what does that mean? And let's break it down. Let's go ahead and break it down because you're going to have people that go, they run to certain scriptures. Galatians three, verse twenty eight. And, and, and they, they'll run to this. They say, well, this said everybody you know what? This not on mean everybody. It said, go ye uh, uh, not into any city of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I mean, that should explain it to you right there. All right. Let's say it again. Which no man could number of all nations where Yahweh Bashem Yahshua scattered us and kindreds and people. What's the kindred mean? Go into this. You know what? I'm just going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. All right. So let's go here. All right. Let me cheat. I'm going to cheat just a little bit and we'll go straight to. The blue letter. Let's go to the blue letter Bible. Okay. Mm hmm. Let's go to the blue letter. See the blue letter. Let's go to the blue letter Bible. And we'll go ahead and read it and we'll get some of these definitions of the words. Look up words. Damn. It's not that it really is not that difficult. Look the words up. Okay. All right. So let's go to ooh, the brother just said they're going to get blown to smithereens to smithereens. 
All right. Revelation seven, verse nine. And let's see. Let me get some of these words. And after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude. What is a multitude? Let's go. Let's go there first. OK, let's just break it all the way on down. A crowd. All right. A casual collection of people. A multitude of men who have flocked together in some place. Woo, Babylon is a, <laughs> hey, you saw that map of all the uh, so-called UFOs. Uh, each and every damn one of them was 99% uh, was of them, 99.5% of all them UFOs was gathered together right here over Babylon, baby. All right. All right. A throng, a what? A multitude, the common people as opposed to the rulers. And leading men. Woo! That's heavy right there. That's heavy. All right. So let's go back. All right. Which no man could number. Uh, that just says up. And that's interesting. Anyway, of all nations. Let's see what a well, let's see what a nation is. We'll go there too. Let's see. Of all nations, whether Yahweh Bashem Yahshua scattered us, right? A multitude, rather, of men or of beast, all right, associated or living together. A company, troop, swarm. And did he say to the Lord of hosts, didn't he say, I will make thee a brazen wall, a troop? Are we not a part of his army? You know them songs <laughs> in the Christian church. I'm in the Lord's army. No, you ain't. You know, it, it, the, you, hey, what his, he gonna, what his, when he said he's going to come back, he's going to catch his service doing what? Fighting. This is a spiritual battle. All right. You see a tribe, nation, people, group. The human, the, it says the human family, and that's that's going off. All right. Kindreds. Let's see, nations and kindreds. Let's go to kindreds. So, Lucky, I know this is sort of getting a little bit long here, but I'm just going to go into it, you know. You, don't click off. Please just listen. You know, pay attention. You know, to any newcomers, just, just watch and pay attention. we got to break these things down. All right. Let's see, what does it say? A tribe. All right. A what? A tribe, a nation, a people. Do you hear do you hear the definition of that? Kindred, kindreds. That's your family. OK, so when you go back and you read it, let's read it again. All right. Let's see. No man could number of all the nations, whether you how about him, you have scattered us and kindreds, your family and people. Let's go to let's go to people. Yeah, he didn't get people. A people, people, group, tribe, nation, all those who are the same stock and language. OK, but it's it, 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 this, this does go off sometimes because it says and language. But right here it says tongues, which means language. All right. And tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb. The lamb is Yahweh Shai. All right. Clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Verse 10, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power, which, which stood up, uh, sitteth upon the throne and upon the Lamb, man. So there you have it right there. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on up. Okay. Uh, let's see where was I at? I read this, didn't I? A great multitude or number. Yep. I just read that. That's where I was at. All right. Let's move. Let's move down here and let's go to Job 20. And verse two, therefore, do my thoughts cause me to answer. And for this, I make haste, you know, make haste, hurry up. All right. So, hey, the scripture also says I made haste and delay not what to keep his commandments. And that's to the best of our ability because we're under grace. But this is getting ready to be the change of the guard. This is what this whole lesson is about, man. The kingdom going to get translated. And, you know, and these higher ups, they know what's going on. That's why they're going to come in like a flood, because, you know, if you have but a short time. All right. I have heard the check of my reproach and the spirit of my understanding causes me to answer. All right. Verse four, knowing thou not this of old since man was placed upon the earth. The triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. You see, destruction is coming, man. It's coming to these people. It's coming to two thirds. It's coming upon this earth. It's coming upon certain places. Call Hello, you have my phone chimed on that one right there. You see? Let's read this, verse 7. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, What? Where is he? They which have seen him shall say, What? Where is he? Turn that frown upside down. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Hey, man. Hey, what does that say? Esau's perspective and Jacob's. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's continue on. Because, hey, it, it, it's just for a moment. But he coming with clouds, is he not? Hmm? Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reaches unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He going to be, he just going to, he going to disappear. He's, all, all them little children that are going to come after Esau, Edom is, is, is eradicated and erased. You, you, know, you ever seen them commercials where they get rid of them damn roaches and then they say raid. Uh-huh. It's old commercials, you know, raid. You know, he going, he going, he going to perish. The eye also, woo, 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 woo. verse eight. Let's go back. Let's read it. Read it right, Gabar. Let's go. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision in the night. Chased away, man. All right. The eye also, which have seen us, which I saw him shall see him no more. You know, you know what that means? The people who have seen these damn wicked ass devils and he's going to be he going back to his natural state which is a, uh, 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 grunting and and and, uh, uh, and crawling around like a damn animal. Cuz that's what he is. He's the basis of men, right? Mhm. Mm the king's going to get translated and put uh, put a right and put and stand up straight, baby. Let's go. Let's go. All right? The eye also which have seen him shall say to see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods. His bones are full of of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. There is no throne. <laughs> Daughter of the Chaldeans You too Esau Edom You are freaking completely finished You are completely finished man Okay This is what I have here Revela Ooh, Revelation 18 verse 18 That's what I wanted That's what I want Matter of fact here Let me show you this Salaki Let me I'm, I'm, I might have to stop it I might have to stop it And make sure Oh this is awesome yeah, let me uh, hey, stay tuned. Let me stop it, and then I'll splice all this back together. But you got to see this, cause when I saw this man, I was watching this brother Ariar y'all. When I was watching his video, it got me super excited, man. Super excited. Let's go. Vehicles, man, are on our side, man. These are actually our brothers. These angels are our brothers, man. As soon. You know, they're going to lay the smack down on this place. And they're going to save the elect, man. All right, so this is uh, the video. I, I put this out, too. But, you know, this is when I first started making videos. Not many people watched. You know, I believe I only got like seven views on it. But, you know, this song right here just shows you. Watch. I'm going to play like a minute and some change of it and it has the lyrics so you can you can uh, actually you know read what they're what they're saying and you can't tell me this is not talking about your how shy and the angels coming back to destroy this place man okay so lord willing this is edifying and look it's already spiritual because it's the song is four minutes and 41 seconds Okay? Let me just play it now. There's a spacecraft blocking out the sky, man. Okay, that reminds me of Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him. All, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, amen. Okay? 
Right, I'm gonna go let it play. just read that in first Thessalonians, first Thessalonians chapter 4 when it says that you know Yahweh Shai let out a large shout okay and when that in that trumpet being blown man it's going to be very very loud okay it says but it's the loudest sound you ever heard man That is that's incredible. It, again, like the brother said, you can't tell me that uh, the Esau Edom don't know, man. That's uh, that group. Uh, what was it radio? Radiohead. You know, it's the Edomite group. Yeah, that's what I perceive them to be. You know, they they probably Edomites. Cause you hear how he was saying it in our darkest hour, in our darkest hour, he's talking about the chariot. That was talking about the end. You know, it's very very uh, easily explained in the Bible. They know what's getting ready to. Oh, look at that one forty four. 144 baby you can't make that up man oh lord what have i done okay all right let's go on back there we go whatever all right 144 anyway let's get let's hit the scriptures man because that was awesome i really i enjoyed that all right revelation 18 verse 18 and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning saying what city is like unto this great city man and really that's what that song was going into that it's a big chariot a big uh, uh what is, how do you say a big spacecraft Re uh, revelation one of verse seven every eye shall see him and even those that pierced him the reincarnation it's all there in the scriptures in one hour there that's what i wanted verse 17 for in one hour so great riches is come to naught and every shipmaster and all of the company and ships and sailors and as and as many as trade by sea stood afar off. And what did they do? And they cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? And, but the scripture said, Nahum, woe to the bloody city. Right. And they cast dust on their heads and cried and uh, weeping and wailing and saying, at last, at last, that great city we're in uh, we're in. Where where in Slaki were made rich that uh, Slaki rich all that had ships. Let's see here. I don't want, I don't want that going on right there. Anyway, any it ships in the sea, and by reason of her uh, co cost costliness, for in one hour she made desolate. All right, man. Hey, woo, let's say verse twenty. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and and ye. Holy apostles and prophets. See that? Rejoice. This is not our rest. This is beautiful. Apostles and prophets for the Most High Yahweh have avenged you on her. Okay? <laughs> My folk chimed on that one. Oh, man. I got one more and I'll close out. I guess this lesson's been long enough. Again, I got a whole nother lesson coming out. You know, it was hard to find, but it's that... Uh, that uh, that guy that you know that wrote the uh, the uh, the the movie uh, of Trading Places, Aaron Russo. Okay, it's it's hard to find on YouTube, but I finally found a video where he's talking about Nick Rockefeller and the MOT to the B and and women's women's liberation and the NWO and all that. Matter of fact, they're not even calling it the NWO anymore. People caught on to it. Esau Edom thinks he's slick, man, but he's really through. Isaiah fourteen verse twenty one. It's a changing of the guard coming. Let's go. Hey, keep the faith. All right. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Woo. So that right there, I had to do a lesson on it. That right there says a whole lot. Esau's perspective and Jacob's.
Hopefully this lesson was edifying, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily in a, ooh, ooh, in a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Slakia. In truth and sincerity. Hey, let's go. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. What we got? Matthew 24 and 6. Ooh. See that ye not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass. See, but the end is not yet. Yep. For nations shall rise against nation, mm -hmm. and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in divers places, and all these are the beginning of sorrows. <sighs> then shall they be the then. Shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. For what? For his name's sake. Ooh, again, let's say it again. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Okay? Hey, every chance you get, chant this place down, man. Kwam Yasharala and Wa Abiba Ball. Love your family. Shalom. Boom! <laughs>